All right, ladies and gentlemen, leg curls and leg extensions. And the main thing I'm going to focus on today is your setup, how you get into the machine, and why it's important, and why you want to be set up correctly and properly. So, <clears throat> this is set up for leg extensions. You get your feet back behind here. You want to set the back part of this seat high enough or low enough to where your knees are even, the joint right of your knee is even with the joint of the machine where it pivots. Okay, that's imperative and important because otherwise, if you're too far forward in front of it like that, it puts too much unwanted pressure and strain on your knees and cause damage to your knees. And that can and will happen if you're not paying attention and if the weight's too heavy, especially when it's in leg curl mode, right? So when your feet are up top and you're doing leg curls, if it's too heavy and you're getting through your reps, you're going to inch forward, right, without realizing it. And then, again, that just puts too much stress and strain on your knees. Now, also, you want to keep in mind, too, so if you notice, my knees are up higher than the joint of this machine, okay? So I want to lower this guy and I just adjust it and I also want to lower this guy further so I can get my thighs down and so on and so forth. Again, if you're not, <clears throat> well, some of these machines are built poorly, especially the older ones, and so it's hard to get your knee in that position. And that's why these machines can get a bad rap and saying they're not good for people with bad knees or they can't cause damage to knees. So if it's an older machine and it's not built great, then don't even try it because it can cause damage to your knees. Um, if it's a newer machine, typically they're done much better and you can adjust it, whether you gotta adjust this guy, this guy, and or this guy, and you can get yourself lined up properly. Last but not least, to get full engagement and activation in the quads for your leg extensions and hamstrings for leg curls, you want to keep your toes pinned back towards you throughout the entire movement. If you keep them relaxed, pointing forward, you don't get full activation. You don't believe me? Try one set with them relaxed. Try one set with them pinned back in dorsiflexion. I promise you'll get a much better activation. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends. Much love, y'all.